Hey there, IDK Fred here today. I'm going to be doing an unboxing of my new 55 inch scepter. I ordered this in from Walmart uh, like Friday or Saturday, and today's Monday, so it came fairly fast. It did have a nick right here, so we're gonna have to see if that affected the screen at all. And the strap did break off on this side right here and kind of pulled up the cardboard here. Beyond that, I think the package looks fairly okay. So here we go. Also, the reason I went scepter is because I have a 40 inch scepter screen right over here that I'm going to now be using as my computer screen. And this will be my TV. Okay. Here on top, we have new base stand the TV I think it screws into the back and then onto a stand or something like that and we have another remote with a battery another little screwdriver I already have all this same stuff this same kind of remote right here That'll be for the assembly and for working it. Okay. And then I think it's just the TV below this. We've got film. Yeah, I don't know how to do this. Ever so carefully pulling the foam off. Here in this back foam, we have. Ooh, face looks nicer than the original base I got. Look at this thing. It's like a glass base here. Okay, it's kind of got a little bit of heft to it, also a little bit heavy. Do I dare grab the TV? I don't know. Actually, I... Yeah, I'm gonna cut down the sides of this. Okay. Let's see if we can pull this front piece off. Here's our foam and that. Okay, so that dent went as far as right there and got blocked by the foam. Would slide this off nicely, but we're just gonna pull this right. Okay, there's a, my nice new 55 inch screen that is huge <laughs> for crying out loud. I'm used to this 40 inch, and this is big right here comparatively. The screen looks nice. From what I can see, just gonna pull off all the plastic right here. Let's take it down.
Now we gotta throw the mounts on this. So I'm gonna try and flip this around so we can get at the back here. such a nice clean surface to set this down on. I'm going to lay this down on the cardboard right here. There we go. Instructions. Okay. Lay the display flat on a table and screw in the five screws. Attach the neck assembly. To finalize an installation of display, if you're placing a display on a stand, would recommend using display safety strap and not included in your order, or to minimize possibility of damage toppling over if you're mounting display to a wall. Lots of good information. For the most part, I think what we just got to do here. is screw this onto here and then screw it onto the base and I think we're ready to go. I think. Yeah, so these ones are the base screws and these ones will attach the neck. Hmm, that's new. We even have an optical output, which I'm pretty sure I didn't have on my 40 inch. Then we have our three HDMIs and left and right, and then the headphones, which I did have, but I'm not sure about the optical. I'm gonna have to check my 40 inch again. But we've got the neck on, now we just gotta to attach the base. Let's see. Yeah, that should work. Maybe. If I have this the right way. Just a little bit. Okay, we've got the base on, we've got the neck on. And everything should be ready. I think I'm gonna plug this in before I set this up here. space here for the base to fit. Okay, I think 
so that should work. Okay, so I'm gonna tip the TV up here onto the base, and then I'm gonna lift it up onto my stand here. I don't think I have enough room up there. Crap. No, don't kick the TV. It's all good. It's still safe. I think it'll fit now. Let's try this again. Oh, come on. So close. speaker right there without destroying the TV I think we'll keep it like this just for now and I'm gonna do a turn on test okay so gotta find the PS through PS4's HDMI which is running over to the other computer still, kind of. and throw it in HDMI 3 that one okay we have power which I don't know where the buttons are now <laughs> do I have buttons anymore yep on the other side okay TV on PS4 on TV mode, home. Sure, I need to put batteries in the remote. The screen looks fine. I think a little bit dark in that corner. Uh, maybe it's just all the corners. Take off our efficiency guide, $13 a year. Not bad. Okay, remote. Good English. Signal type. I don't know. Uh, don't search for channels. Don't execute. Fine, we're going to execute and search for channels. Kidding. No. Exit. Menu. Ha! There we go. Okay. We're gonna bypass that, we're gonna go to HDMI 1. And we are hooked up. This is the TV sound running at 50. This is just 
purdy over here. Extremely purdy. Hello, well. Okay, so since I got two scepters here, both of these remotes work for both of my scepter TVs. I turned up the volume on this one right here, turned up the volume on that one right there. Hey, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more random videos like this. And as always, I don't know.